In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Flare Solver. Flare Solver is a proxy server to bypass Cloudflare and DDoS guard protection. There's a note here. Web browsers consume a lot of memory. So if you are running Flare Solver on a machine with little RAM, do not make many requests at once. With each request, a new browser is launched. Let's get started. First thing as always, we're going to go over to our apps tab, open it up, and we're going to search for Flare Solver. All my other art containers are from the Binhex repository, so I'm going to choose here Binhex Flare Solver to keep it all in one family. So I'm going to click install. Next thing I'm going to do is scroll to the bottom and open up show Docker allocations, and then I'm going to look to see if this port is available. So I'll double click on that and then do control F. And it's showing two results, which are right there, just to make sure. I have nothing down in my other allocation, so that port's good to go. And if yours happens to be in use, then I would just go up here and increment this number by one and then check again until you find a port that's clear. Mine's already clear, so let's move on. Config path, that is the standard app data location. That is great. There's not really anything else we need to change here, so we can just go down and hit apply. It's going through my comments this morning and found one from the other day that said that, you know, basically they're having problems with both Deluge and Qubit Torrent. They'd get it set up, they'd hit go, whatever, they'd go to go into it, and it wouldn't be running. It would fail. And basically what they were running into is the fact that they were just trying to get into the container before it was actually booted up fully into the, into the system. So I'm going to work on trying to explain to you guys a little bit how long this actually takes, and this install has taken a minute. I will edit out all the blank space there, but at least I'll let you know that, you know, when you go to start it up, it may be a minute or two before it's actually fully up and running. And then you can go into the logs and, and look to make sure from there too. But Flare Solver is pretty quick and easy, so we'll just move on. That's done. I'm going to go ahead and hit done now. Now we're going to go up to our Docker tab. We're going to go down to Prowler. We're going to open that up. So I'm going to click on the icon and go to the web UI. And it's going to want me to log in. And I believe my username is demo and my super secret password. Now once we're in Prowler, we're going to go up to settings. And then down to indexers right below there. And here, the big plus under indexer proxies, we're going to click on the big plus and we're going to select Flare Solver. And the default name, Flare Solver, is fine. And for tags, we're going to type in Flare Solver here. And then for the host, we're going to need to put in the full host path, including the HTTP and the port number for your Flare Solver instance. So in my case, it's going to be 10.0.0.11 and then the colon 8191. So what you're going to end up with here is HTTP colon, a couple forward slashes, and then your server IP address, a colon, and then the port number for your Flare Solver. Then we're going to hit test. We have a green check mark. That means it came back all right. So go ahead and hit save. Now let's go up to show advanced. We're going to check one setting here. Let's go back into the Flare Solver we set up. And the request timeout is 60 seconds, and that, that's what I was looking for. The parameters here, you can go from one second to 180 seconds. The default of 60 seems to work pretty well for me. So we're just going to leave it there. Since I didn't make any changes, I'm going to hit cancel. If you change something, just go ahead and do test again and then hit save again. Now let's go and add Flare Solver to our indexers. So now we're going to go up to indexers at the top of Prowler. Now we need to find an indexer that uses Cloudflare protection. So we're going to go up to add indexer. I'm going to filter out and go torrents. Since I speak English, we're going to go with US English. We're going to go with public servers and you can select private or whatever suits your needs here. And categories, let's go with TV shows, television, right there. All right, it says there's 36 available. So we're going to look through the list here and see if we can find one to add to our system here. So let's look at 1337X. This one says that it may use Cloudflare protection. So let's go ahead and use this one. So we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and look for the tag field. And there, we're going to type in the tag that we had created, which was Flare Solver, just like that. Then we'll hit test. Got a green check mark. It means everything's working great. So let's go ahead and hit save now. So now that 1337X works, let's go back in there and remove the tag and see if it still works. So we'll go back into it, scroll down, make sure the tag's gone, and it is. Let's hit test. Fails instantly. Let's put it back in there. So now the 1337 indexer should be using Flare Solver. So what you're going to do is basically go through the list here, find any indexer you want that you're going to add to your system. If it's using the Cloudflare protection, then you just go to the tag field, add in the Flare Solver tag, test it, make sure it connects, and then save. 
It's a pretty simple thing. It's pretty easy to set up and allows you to add more indexers to Prowler. So now that you have it all set up and running, if you enjoyed this video, click on the like button and make sure you subscribe too. And if you got some value out of this video, check out one of these videos next. And I'll see you in the next one.